It all happened so fast. That's what we heard over and over again today. Concerns about the rising river and rainfall quickly turned into flooding. Now one woman is dead and others are still missing. It's really changed and it changed fast yesterday. The river is moving fast. The water dark. It looks like thick cocoa. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Yesterday you could see all the rocks on the bottom. Crystal clear. Susie Rasmussen and her husband Glenn just finished eating dinner Tuesday night when a neighbor knocked on their door. One of the neighbors came by and said, you know, there's a flood warning. Uh, you might want to think about leaving. Then the reverse 911 call went out. They quickly packed up and left for the night. Oh, you always worry when there's, especially after a fire, when there is the flash floods or the uh, isolated rain up canyon that it, sh it could happen. But no, you never you never know when it's going to happen. Susie and her husband were able to return the next day, unlike some of her neighbors in the canyon. She said her heart breaks knowing one woman is dead and others are missing. The sheriff's office confirms five cabins were destroyed. Um, homes that were there are no longer there. Uh, that's, that's about the simplest way to put it. Uh, they're completely gone. This picture shows what's left of the bridge at Black Hollow Road, where there's severe damage. As damage assessment teams go in, the sheriff's office announced the river will likely be closed through the weekend due to safety concerns. Also, if we do get more rain and, and more debris enters the river, we don't know exactly what that's going to cause downriver. So we want everyone off the water just to be safe. And the sheriff's office said you can plan for this. They do plan for this, but it's just so hard to predict when it's going to happen. And last night it was a massive effort to evacuate everyone and get them to higher ground quickly. You had sheriff's deputies going to every single campground along the river, going up to tents and campers trying to get everyone out safely. Reporting live was Gilardi, Denver Sun.